We're kind of in the classic position where John has his hands on my belt and he's kind of riding the top guard position, trying to create some pressure on my ankles. So I'm going to isolate one arm, so I'll go for the cross grip, grab the sleeve, and hit the elbow. From here, I'm going to put the opposite foot down, making sure my knee stays tight to his hip. Whenever I open my guard, I need to do that. I don't want to let that leg be relaxed and open. Always knee tight to the hip. Since I have control of this elbow, I can bring this knee down, I'm going to bring my foot to the hip. All right? Once I've brought the foot to the hip, I'm going to start to stretch out. And this arm, or this leg, is going to come over top of the bicep of the other uh, arm. From here, I'm going to kick out, use my shin against the bicep to open this up. And now I'm pushing off of the foot as my leg is pushing into his body and eventually biting the neck. So I could go diamond guard first, or in that situation, you know, I can get right into a nice, nice triangle, all right? So again, cross grip, elbow grip, opposite foot opens up, but keep the knee tight to the hip. Hip out, foot goes to the hip, create a stretch, and now we come over the top. Now another step is I, I like to address this grip before I go too far, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to break this grip, I break up, and now we bite, that way I can pull this to my hip as we go for the triangle. Boom. Boom, we're kind of in a situation we talked about the other night, so I'm going to get this elbow to go deeper. I'm pushing that over, and then we can finish here. Talked a little bit about this on Monday, but let me borrow that arm again real quick. If I get like here, you know, this isn't good enough. Or even if I have the triangle in, this isn't good enough. I need to go elbow past the hip. All right, so remember, that's how we... That's how we move it. The hands are going to switch to this under grip, bump my hip, push it across, and pull the knees back in. Get your cross grip, behind the elbow, knees tight, opposite foot to the mat, scooting at your foot to the hip, stretch out a little bit farther, shift over the bicep. We're going to break the grip, we're going to break both grips together. Push and pull. Keep the front of the hip to help steer the windshield wiper on the head as the leg comes up, we're pulling the wrist across. You can go ahead and get the triangle in. But I really want to make sure I pass this arm all the way over. And now I can finish. Always pass this arm all the way over. And then as we talked about, always make sure it stays under my arms. So I'm not passing it over here like that, right? He can use it still. I want to bury that arm as much as possible. The triangle's nice and tight. This is a, you know, this is a great triangle set up, just you know, live rolling, all right? Because if I can't be here, let go of it. This is nice. Gotta have to practice just shooting it up. If you can get double wrist control, this is nice. But that's difficult uh, with the gi, especially. No gi is a little easier. This is very common, so we're, it's a good way to address this and go right to the triangle. So get your cross grip, get your elbow grip, opposite foot goes to the mat, but keep your knee tight. Shrimp out, bringing the foot to the hip, stretch out a little bit. Shin comes over the bicep, we're gonna pull this grip off and break this grip with the shin at the same time. Bang, use the foot and the hip to windshield wiper your head. As you bite the neck, you start to get the triangle. Make sure you drag your know, hips up, drag the arm all the way across, pinch it to the hip, pull your knees back in, hug the head, and squeeze. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here. Knee tight. Put your head down. To the hip. So I'm distance. I'm so we're kind of in the scissor does. guard position here. So and you want to make sure that we're sliding that down and enough. You know, get into the, the um, elbow pit that we're getting enough leverage to break the grip, right? So let's say I can't. I'm going to stretch out a little farther and just go one step farther and go foot to bicep now. All right? So I'm just going to jam my heel inside, toes outside, and we're going to push it off here. All right? Drag them back in. Pop the leg over. Once again, pass that arm all the way through. So right now, 
uh, and finish the triangle. The, any of our escapes, I can't bridge uh, where I'm not looking. So I, I can't look to my right, so I'm not going to bridge that way. Just have to get that. Same setup. That's no good because I can't look that way. Not in trouble. This leg. So I turn the foot in, just jam that heel into the bicep, break that, and now I'm extending my legs right now, but I'm going to let them give a little bit, all right, so I can sink in deeper, bite the neck, get the triangle, pass the arm over, get the finish.